Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one just asks, what is Planck's equation? Okay, so I'll write it down here. Planck's equation. Okay, so Planck's equation can be simplified into E is equal to H times frequency. So E is the energy of a photon. And H is just Planck's constant. So I'll write down its value as well. Which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times second. <clears throat> and lastly, frequency is our last term. And frequency can also be calculated if it's not given in the question using the following equation. Or frequency is equal to C over lambda. So C is the speed of light. And its value, it's pretty easy to remember. It's 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And lastly, lambda is wavelength. So wavelength can either be in nanometers or meters. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, Max Planck discovered a theory that energy is transferred in the form of chunks called quanta assigning as h. The variable h holds the constant value equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 4 joules times seconds, based on the international system of units, and the variable describes the frequency in 1 over seconds. Planck's law helps us uh, calculate the energy of photons when their frequency is known. If the wavelength is known, you can calculate the energy by the, using the wave equation to calculate the frequency, and then apply Planck's equation to find the energy. Planck's equation is given as E equals H times E, where H is Planck's constant, and V is the frequency in meters. I'm going to write that uh, the units of frequency is given as 
1 over s frequency can be calculated I also just added that the units of frequency is given as 1 over s okay, as well. Uh, frequency can be calculated by dividing the speed of light by the wavelength.